Do you remember the first lines you ever spoke in a movie when you moved from being an actor? Yes, I remember the first three lines I spoke. First three lines. One was, I said, hello, my dear. No, goodbye, my dear, to Alyssa Landy at a railway station. <laughs> and I, I was, such a, I was such, a, such a smash in that that I was hired, <laughs> hired, hired to say hello, my dear, to Ruth Chatterton at another station. And then my big moment was, uh, was in a Sam Goldwyn production with Miriam Hopkins and Joel McCrae and Edward G. Robinson. And I was a Cockney sailor. And I was thrown out of the window of a brothel in San Francisco <laughs> into, into, <laughs> into three foot of mud. And I said, all right, I'll go. <laughs> and, uh, and, and Miriam, Miriam and Joel and, and um, Eddie Robinson and some donkeys and 40 vigilantes walked over the top of me. <laughs> Auspicious debut. Yes. Yeah. What about the one of the fascinating uh, things that, that comes out in, in what you've written is the amount of importance that was attached in, in those days in Hollywood to publicity, to the value of publicity, so making yourself known. I mean, what kind of tricks did they get up to sort of publicity experts? Well, Mike, um, you see, in those days, it was not great talents. It was great personalities. Mm. Uh, and there were probably 40 people who, who could support a picture. Today, there are probably four who could support any picture. Yes. And it was a case of publicity, building up grains of sand until they became sizable hills that could be seen a long way off, really. And they got up to all sorts of tricks. And the first publicity man came from the circus, came from Barnum and Bailey Circus, a man called Harry Rischen, Rischen, Rischenbach. And he was hired in the early days to publicize one of the first Tarzan pictures. And he booked a room in a hotel on the ground floor in the hotel, right opposite where the theater was in New York, where it was going to open. And a large packing case was delivered to, to his room. And then he pressed the bell and ordered eight pounds of chopped hamburger for lunch. So the waiter tottered up with his great platter. And there was a large lion sitting at his table with a napkin around his neck. <laughs> so the, so, so the waiter sued Harry Richenbach and immense publicity. That was really the first publicity stunt. Really? And it sort of backfired. He got badly sued. The next one that, back <laughs> the next one that backfired was Mae West. Mae West backfired. That sounds very strange. <laughs> um, the next one that backfired was Mae West. And she was doing a movie called It Ain't No Sin. And they had a brilliant idea. And they, they got together 140 parrots. <laughs> And, and put them into intensive training, and these poor animals were taught to say, it ain't our thing. <laughs> and, and they, were, they, were, they were going to be put on perches in hotel lobbies and things all around the city for the opening of the picture. And at the last minute, the, um, the Hayes office, which was the group in charge of the morals of Hollywood, decided that it ain't no sin was a dirty title and changed it to I'm no angel. <laughs> so the poor, the poor bloody parrots were taken away <laughs> and given, and given a crash course in this and, and then they were put on the perches and frightful noises and whistles came out and they were sent home in disgrace and, and the, my favourite one though of all that flops was, was um, Walt Disney of all people and he did Pinocchio and for the opening of Pinocchio in New York he hired 12 midgets oh, and he dressed them up as Pinocchio and put them up on the marquee of the, of the theatre to gamble about you know and cause a stir for the traffic and everything and everything went along beautifully until lunchtime when somebody sent them up a couple of bottles of bourbon. <laughs> and, and the midgets then started playing strip poker up there. And, and by, by three o'clock, they were all naked and, and belching and, and uh, screaming about on the, on the top. And the fire department brought them down in pillowcases. 